All right, we are at the Coconut Grove Improv. Tony and myself from What The Five with Mr. Jamie Kennedy and his Bob Sinclair dancing. What is that? It's just the girls in Miami. <laughs> we just need to put a little thing there, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's a party. <laughs> is this new, new material for your three-night show here at the Coconut Grove Improv? Could be. It's my opener. It's my opener. I can't, think, I can't stop thinking of that song. <laughs> now, do you adjust your material depending on what city you're in? Like, do you have Miami jokes ready to go? Yeah. I already have a joke about Grand Street. Because, like, it's real nice in Coconut Grove until you get to Grand. <laughs> yeah. And it ain't so grand. I know. It's amazing. Ain't so grand. It's like, it's like shiny, happy people, holy <laughs> Shiny, holy sh Yeah, everywhere I go, there's like things you gotta pick up. Yeah, you make have it any, more familiar. any Cuban material you're gonna be shooting our way? No! No, no, no. I mean, yeah, I could do some later, you know. Do you know Spanish? No. Yeah, donde esta la playa, por favor. That's it. Y la cerveza. Okay, see, sí, where? <laughs> Let's talk about a project that you're kind of passionate about because I know when you're doing the show you get some hecklers and it mm -hmm. spawned this whole idea that you have mm -hmm. for a movie called Hecklers. Tell us about Heckler the documentary which has already been at the Tribeca Film Festival yeah. and what's the progression? Tell me about it. We, uh, I basically, the long short is I started doing the show and then like I have a very interactive show. Like I start with talking about the people and the place and I kind of go on this material then but uh, as I was doing that around 2005, I st people were heckling. We started filming them and I said, damn, these are really interesting. I started interviewing comedians of how they dealt with hecklers. Then I started interviewing the hecklers. Then I started interviewing sports celebrities and how they dealt with hecklers. Then I started interviewing their hecklers. Then I started re reviewing um, directors and actors and asking them how they started dealing with critics. And our critics hecklers. And I, I saw your little clip with Carrot Top. With Carrot Top. Because he got his movie bashed. Gosh, they said it was the worst movie of the 19th century, Did or you, 20th century. Now, can you be the critic? I mean, can you like clown him a little bit about all the arm stuff? Like, he's did. gotten a lot bigger. He's gotten a lot bigger. I asked him if he's on the carrot roids. He says no. <laughs> he says he eats his spinach and his carrots. And what's your worst personal heckler experience? Heckler or critic? Both. Um, you stumped him. Way to go. Well, heckler... It was, it's a long story, but it was a huge... The short version. The short version is, it was in it was in Edmonton. I was playing 500 seats at this place called the Chuckle Hut. And it's a little place. And uh, there was a Jamaican guy, and there was a white girl. And I st he, st he started getting mad at me because I started making fun of Canada. I said, sir, you're not even from Canada. You're from Jamaica. They let you in here to work. You know, he started getting more mad. And he had his girlfriend with him, and I said, is she, is she off the clock right now? You're going to put her back on the track? It went really back and forth. He got really mad, and then he rushed the stage. And then, but I, I said, don't, you know, I don't want him to kick him out. So I said th th things, he said things, he kept rushing the stage. And by the end of the thing, I said, I'm not ending the show until we hug. And then we hugged it out, and then it was cool. No way. So that's like the great Jamie Kennedy experiment. Yeah, it was like, it was really uncomfortable, then really funny, then he got pissed, and so that was, that was my heckler. Critics are, worst thing I ever said was just like, you know, people say like you have absolutely no talent, and you shouldn't have a career, and you should die, like, and be dipped in a vat of acid. You have a lot of talent, and I couldn't get over your... <laughs> I couldn't get over your website, which is you're blogging, you're making a documentary, you're doing these like road trips. I mean, you're just all over the place. You, I don't know if you're doing experiments anymore, but like, what else do you want? Honestly, though, what I really want is respect. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> and I do get it, but I also want, I just want to be able to, like, you know, I, one of my favorite actors is Robert Downey Jr. You know, I know he's, the he's, best. He, he's he, there's nothing you can't see him in. You Alan know what I mean? Brilliant. And look at you guys. You didn't even mention any of his personal problems because you know that his art is above that. And Jimmy Fox is another guy that's just, just so talented. I mean, he's putting out another album, he does movies. You know, that's what I want to be. I so just want to be. So singing in your repertoire? Well, you know, I used to rap, but now I'm in my 30s and I can't really do it no more because soon I'm going to be in my 40s. What am I going to do? I'm doing like this. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? I'm in my 50s. What up, bitch? You realize when we're like 65, we're going to be like, put on the oldies. <laughs> Where's Snoop Dogg, bitch? That's a shout out to Nick Swartz and that's his piece. That's Good. awesome. Well, thank you for taking the Wait, time. Wait, what about all the questions? I want to know more oh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm a Gemini. I like Miami, Fat Tuesday. 
What work are you most proud of? She didn't even ask that one. She, she, she did. <laughs> I flew all the way down here in the red eye. I missed the Halloween parade in Hollywood to be with you guys. So damn it, come to the shows tonight. 8.30, 10.30, 7.30, 9.30, come. I'm tired. That's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs>